Welcome you guys back into my next video over here and it's how to move upward today. I need you to understand that in order for you to move upward in life, I apologize Danny. I realize I apologize Danny. I realize that each and every single time I apologize to myself in terms of for myself for something greater, I just make sure to never hit myself and that's why I apologize with myself because I never need to hit myself. I realize that way I understand to move forward. I realize that when I'm moving upward in life, you have to understand it's really that I'm doing something that's according to my work. And what is my work? I realize that these videos are my work. I realize that looking good and feeling good and having the health and the vibrancy today to make sure that I have more than enough energy to just focus on myself and do whatever I need to do to make sure that I can grow. I realize that my business is to move around the world as well as I realize to move around Australia as well as grow. I realize that I understand that when I become more and I do something more than yesterday, such as this video or any type of writing materials or any type of posting on Instagram or anything in terms of value where I can provide to promote myself every single day in the best way, I learn something new along the way and I increase the fountain of wisdom within me. And when I do that, I make sure that to put it on camera and to record myself along the way while I document my life and I upload my life online and I use a mega storage online. <clears throat> I mean, I use an online storage. I realize since I do have all this content now, I realize that I'm much more prepared for what's to come because I'd rather have 400 hours of courses and 25,000 quotes and two years of journaling than to never have that. Because if I didn't have that, I realize I would never even be this person I am today because I every single day showed up and I wrote quotes and I wrote journals and I wrote new videos. I put myself into the planet in a way that I'll grow and that's why I get to move upward. I get to realize that no matter who blocks me on online, no matter who blocks me online and no matter how much Mark Zuckerberg blocks me because I like other people's posts online. I realize that most of the planet is trying to block you and they're trying to kick you down. I realize that it's very easy to create and I realize it's very easy to create a legacy although many people will never allow you to. You understand? Know because there's a money system I realize there's a money system going on in terms of the world's economics and they in terms of their economics and their politics and the government's regulations is set up to pin you down. I realized that most people are pin, I realized most people are pinned down and they've got nothing to do during the coronavirus and they've got nothing to show for it. I mean they've got no courses and they're receiving government loans and handouts from people and they're working nine to five jobs while looking for another nine to five job at the moment. You have to understand that it's not that. You have to understand it's not that in which it's gonna make you. I realize that what makes you today is being away from a 9 to 5 job. And even though I understand I have no problems, I realize that I'm doing far better than most of the world and I'm better than the world right now. I'm doing better than anybody else in terms of habits and structure and who I am, in terms of high morals. I make sure every single day that when I move forward, I go and brand myself and do a video like this and I post it online. I post it online and just recently I got myself, I got myself 35 new followers on Instagram. And how did I do it? I realized I just liked people's content on Instagram and guess what Mark Zuckerberg did? I realized he blocked me for seven days to post on Instagram. I realized now what I do is to make sure to never get blocked again or never again engage people online unless they contact me. I realized now I have a plan to just go to Melbourne, Brisbane and Sydney and just go market myself around there and do it around the streets of Town Hall in Sydney and Melbourne as well. I promise you there are many people walking past and I'll put my portrait on the floor and I'll just sit there and I'll pump some music and I'll relax and I'll do some public speaking along the way. I understand though that it's a long way away to do that, so although I understand that it's really that I go and see Australia first. I'd rather see Australia than have to go to Melbourne and Sydney now to 
build upon this legacy of mine because I'm doing it now anyway. I'm doing it now and the whole point of me doing it on the streets is because I'll never ever engage people online anymore. Or else I've got something better to do now. I never have to be blocked again by Mark Zuckerberg. Or else that person blocks everybody. I mean, he just cares about the money. I mean, he doesn't care about you. I mean, Instagram and all that social media is for free. Although, it's not for free as well. And you should understand, as soon as you start building your legacy, I mean, that's when Mark Zuckerberg kicks you down. You understand? Know I realize that the system of online social media is set up for you to lose when you spam. And when you're trying to promote your legacy and trying to go online, I promise you, you'll always fail. You'll fail in the online world. I promise you, what you need to do to succeed in the online world is go on the streets and promote your Instagram and just sit there and grow. I mean, put your poster on the floor in terms of your portrait or hold up a sign that says your Instagram and just chill and let people see it and you read while you are at it and just be there all day every day and learn to just journal your life. I promise you that's the best method to have 100,000 people in town hall in Sydney to look at you every single day. I promise you although that you have to stay consistent with Instagram and online tendencies you have to always post online. And you have to always keep consistent with your photos. And now, I have a photo Instagram where I post on my photos. And I understand it works. I promise you it works. Because guess what? You have to understand, you have to understand that most of Instagram is just for content of something. I realize that my content is about my face. And I rather post on Instagram at the moment because there is many people on Instagram. I mean, there's 300 million people who have Instagram today in 2020. <clears throat> I realized that since I have a nice beautiful opportunity here to go on Instagram and to promote myself for free on the streets of Australia, I realized that 4.5 million people in Brisbane, in terms of in Sydney, there's 5.5 million, and in Melbourne, there's 4.5 million, and in Brisbane, there's 2.2 million people. I realized that my best opportunity is in Sydney and to go to town hall at the moment. I realize although I have my biological dad there as well, and right now, I'd rather just travel. I'd rather just travel because I understand that most people out there are trying to pin you down and don't care about you. I mean, they don't care about you and what you have in store. I promise you, although, that I'll still continue to do these videos. I'll still continue to give you value. I'll still continue to make sure that I can always improve my communication skills and that way I'll give you my ideas. And I'll make sure to plan inside my videos what I need to do on a daily basis too. I realize that every single hour I do, I improve my communication skills and who I am and what I do. I realize that in Darwin, I realize in Darwin there's no way that you can promote yourself too much. I realize on the streets, I realize on the street, there is less amount of people than anywhere else in Australia in terms of high popularity. Otherwise, you may as well just go to Sydney or Melbourne or Brisbane only to promote yourself. I promise you, it's worth it. I promise you, the best you can do right now is make sure that you never care about the attention. I promise you that you need to give yourself attention. You need to be able to give yourself attention and learn how to gain more attention. I promise you, although, that there is always an opportunity. I promise you that somewhere in Darwin and around Australia, I promise you, there is a way that you can promote yourself. I promise you although that there are highways around Darwin and around Australia and around Sydney where you can go and shine your sign and stand there for the whole day and promote your Instagram. I promise you it's worth it to go and promote your Instagram or social media or website and let people see what you've got in store. Because what's worth it is the 400 hours of video content that you did and you give that for free and what's worth it is the 25,000 quotes you did and you're always continuing that process I understand although that eventually I have to get into seminars I have to get myself into seminars and I have to start making these seminars I eventually understand that street performance is more than enough <coughs> I understand though 
that I will eventually level up and more people will follow me. I realize now that since I promote myself on the street, I realize that more people will see my Instagram. I realize that one view is enough. I realize that one person to just see my name is more than enough. I promise you it works. <clears throat> I have 300,000 people in Brisbane who see my name. I promise you out of that 300,000, I promise you 10 of them follow me. Do you understand? I understand though that I leveled up my communication skills there. I bettered myself from that. I increased my personal development from that moment. I realized as soon as I have a chance or an opportunity to grow, I will go on the street and I will public speak on the street. I don't care if I do it 90 hours a month. I realize it's something I love to do. I put myself into it. I realize that nobody else is doing it. I realize I'd rather do it. I'd rather be the first one who does it 90 hours a month. I realize you have to put yourself into the zone of health and vibrancy. I promise you today I have the one hour rule. I promise you today it's called 23 hours I stay inside my accommodation because that one outside of me is boring. I have, I have some branding photos to do. I understand though that I have to plan my life. I have to plan my life and I understand that I have to leave Darwin very soon. I understand if I stay in Darwin, I promise you it's boring. I promise you all that I'm not bored. I'm not bored because what I have to do is I have to travel around Australia. I have to keep going. I can never just stay in Darwin now. I love the weather here. I love the weather because it's so hot. I realize it's 32 degrees today while Melbourne is 13 degrees. I realize it's winter in Australia, although in Darwin it's always summer. I realize it's beautiful weather to swim. I realize it's beautiful weather, although I've got nobody else around me and I don't need anybody else around me. I realize what's important is to speak it up on camera and to live your talk. I realize that when you fall and you relapse about something in terms of pornography or masturbation or drugs and you relapse and you start doing it again, I need you to keep away from it as much as you can. I need you to delay gratification. I need you to start building muscle. I need you to understand that you need to give your time towards yourself the most today. I promise you that you have no time for other people. I promise you there's no time that you can give to other people unless you grab an opportunity and somebody says, I need you in my podcast. I need you in my webinar. Would you be willing to come and give your story? I had somebody just recently come on my Instagram and they have around 400 followers, although I understand they asked me, would you love to give me your story? I said, yes, because guess what? I need other people to interview me. I need other people to come and share me and my message around. <clears throat> I realized that when you have an opportunity, you go and grab it and you do it for free. I realized that I have massive opportunities now to really, let's say, up my legacy right here. I realized that I'm doing something that other people will never do. I'm doing it on the streets in terms of public speaking. And guess what? I'm doing it for free. I'm doing it for free for the rest of my life. Do you understand? Because no matter what happens, I have courses to back myself up. I have my passions. I have what I've seen around Australia because most people have not even been around Australia where I've been. I've been around 80% of Australia I've watched already and I've seen Australia 80% of the time. Otherwise I still have to go and see these main places. Otherwise that I just came to Darwin. And my other main place is Alice Springs. So once I see Alice Springs, I promise you, I'll finish the main areas of Australia. I mean, I finish Melbourne and Adelaide and Brisbane and Gold Coast and Sydney and Borough Bay and Townsville and Cairns and Hobart and Perth and Adelaide. I'm here in Darwin. I have to go to Alice Springs now. I've been to Sydney, I've been to Melbourne, I've been to Brisbane. I realize now, it just keep traveling in terms of my life. I realize that I'm happy and I'm glad. I'm happier. I'm happier that I have free time to do my work. I realize now, although I'm alone and I love to be alone, although I understand that nobody else is my friend, I understand other people never help me. I understand that I don't need their help. I don't need their help. I understand it's a slow journey. I understand it's a slow journey all the way up. I mean, growth is a slow process. 
I have to grow daily. I have to do something today that's going to help me grow. And three hours of video content is just that. I realize it's also writing in my journal. I realize it's writing quotes down. I realize it's figuring out new marketing strategies where I can do it for free and I never have to give money for that. I mean, if I give money for paid advertising, I promise you I may give a thousand bucks and grab three hundred I mean I may give a thousand bucks and get I mean I, I may give a thousand bucks and grab three hundred followers from that. I realize although I gave a thousand bucks for that. I mean, is it worth it? I would say no. I mean I can grab three hundred followers for free. I never have to give money for it. Do you understand? I realize that my last hope is that I have so much more hope. I have so much more hope and I don't need Instagram. I have so much beautiful content on Instagram of my photos. I don't need Instagram at all to promote myself. I can make a website and I can brand my website and that's it. I can just have a nice beautiful click funnel and here, you know what I'm saying? I don't need followers. I just need to make sure I grow. I make sure I grow. I make sure I can grow every day because that's the main idea. I promise you many people are scared and how to get attention, although they don't know how to grow. I don't know how to grow. And guess what? I do it every day. I grow intentionally. I don't care about the attention anymore. I care about growing. I care about what's going to help me grow and look better than yesterday. I have to do these videos because if I don't do these videos, I promise you I'll go downhill. I need to express myself three hours a day on video. I have to. I'm using up this chair and nice beautiful desk that I have at the YMCA here in Darwin. I promise you I gave $175 for five nights accommodation alone. And I never have to go around hostels in Darwin anymore because I can just come to YMCA. I realized that if I never came to Darwin, I'll never even see this place. I understand it's a studio apartment. I understand I have free time. I have free time to do these videos. I may as well do it every single day. And I'm a non-smoker, not a drug addict. I don't need to be around the crowd ever again. I apologize, Danny. I don't need to be around those people who don't love me. I just feel confident. I feel amazing to just speak my mind in terms of my heart. I speak my heart and I relax while I'm at it. I realize that my life is full of ups in life. I may fall down, I get back up really quickly. I realize that I may fall into the trap of pornography and masturbation, although I understand that before I was a smoker and I was eating meat. I was doing drugs, I was fat. I was 47 kilos heavier. I was mentally ill, I was a schizophrenic. I was drinking caffeine, I was around the crowd, and I was dependent on my father, in terms of my biological father. So if I fail, I promise you, if I fail and I fall into pornography and masturbation, and I just fail in that, well, I stay away from the rest, where I never go back into meat, I never go into doing illegal drugs and illegal drugs again, and I never go to my biological father for money or anything. I realize that I'm still doing excellent, I'm still doing better than yesterday, even though I failed, in some aspects, I get back up and I say, relax, because I'm not really somebody who is a pervert. I'm not a pervert. I realize that I realize that I must always improve myself anyway. You have to understand that you just never call yourself a pervert. You never call yourself that. I mean, if you watch pornography, I realize it doesn't make you a pervert. I realize it just makes you somebody who has a bad habit and you need to delay gratification. You have to understand that most people are in the trap of pornography and masturbation. And the best way to tackle that is to delay it as much as you can. I delay it as much as I can. I may relapse, I don't know. Although I have relapsed many times. I realize that it's not the point of life to go and masturbate to women online or men online. Proshi, it's not that. Proshi, that doesn't help you to grow. Proshi, just waste your time. Proshi, each and every single time you watch pornography and masturbate, you may waste 20 minutes of your life 
doing it. I mean, that 20 minutes could have been orchestrated to go and help somebody with words. I'm only, I'm only being honest. I realize that it's a destructive behavior to smoke cigarettes and to do drugs and to watch pornography and to hang around the crowd because the crowd does nothing. I mean, they're just absorbing what's going on. Unless they're watching politics and they're trying to give their own opinion and their own vote, I realize they're not growing as individuals. I promise you, they believe they're making a difference. I promise you, you guys who are dying out there and don't read and you watch the politics and you don't do anything about it and you watch too much TV and you watch random TV, I promise you, you guys are losers. Do you understand? Because I don't watch random TV. I don't browse YouTube. I don't browse Instagram. I make sure that what I do on a daily basis is I grow my mentality today. I grow the person I am today. I give my heart and soul to make sure that I can grow. I have to grow my muscles too. I have to grow my muscles. I have to grow my beard. I have to grow everything. I have to grow my long hair. I have to have long hair in life. Unless I grow into it. I realize the whole point now is to make sure that what you're doing is going to help you move forward. I realize with me, it's more relax and grow. I realize just keep doing your content and keep figuring out a better way. I mean, make sure you're healthy, and make sure you have the energy and make sure you're doing your content every single day and repeat every single day. I realize more now. You have to understand that more is now. And those people who are doing more today are the ones who are really successful. You have to communicate in a different way. I see myself growing in a different way. I'm much better today than I ever was. I'm better in my communication skills. I'm better in my leadership qualities. I'm better in how I pronounce myself. I realize that I'm much better off without a 9 to 5 job. I have no 9 to 5 job and most people do have a 9 to 5 job. I don't need a nine to five job because I got something to do. I show up for my passion every single day, and that's my work. I work twenty four seven on this space. <clears throat> I'm more than twenty eight. I'm number one in my heart with Jesus. I understand though that my age is twenty eight, and since my age is twenty eight, I still got lots of time where I can create my legacy. <clears throat> I'm probably in the next year. I will have finished Australia, and I'll be full time. In front of the streets. I promise you it's coming. <clears throat> I mean 10 hours a day on the streets. To build your legacy, I see it's worth it. <clears throat> I understand it's worth it. I don't know what's coming. I see what's coming. I see it. I see I have a big start. I see how I, I will transcribe this into a better way. And I'll do it for free. I realize that my muscles are not the best. I realize although I'm better than yesterday, in my wisdom, I still have to increase my muscle mass. I have to tug away at it every single day. <clears throat> I have to do 10 minutes exercises every single day. I have to do 20 minutes sometimes. I realize that it just depends on how my day is. I have to do something today that's going to help me move forward. And a video quality such as this, or in terms of communication style, where I can just speak. Otherwise it helps me. Otherwise it helps me to transcribe what's inside and I give it into value. And that way you guys get to see my persona and how I react and how I speak. And that's how you must speak, although you speak in a different way. You go learn how to speak yourself. You go learn how to learn yourself. I learn how to go around Australia now. Much better. I can be around Gold Coast. I can be around anywhere in Australia. I can just do it. I can go anytime. I can go anywhere. I realize that the borders in Tasmania are gonna open up in nine days time. And it's excellent for me in terms of Jesus Christ, because guess what? When I go to Alice Springs, which is already open, I can go see the, Olu I can see the Uluru Rock. And then after Alice Springs, is, I realize it's time. I realize it is time to go to Launchester and Davenport in Tasmania. And I, and I understand it's going to be cold in Tasmania. Otherwise, I have a jacket already. Otherwise, I have a jacket from way back in May. Otherwise, now it's August. 
I wear the same jumper the whole year. I wear the same jacket the whole year. I don't care. Because guess what? I realize it keeps me warm. I realize it keeps me warm. I don't need to keep changing jackets every month. Do you understand? You be smart with your clothing. I realize what's important is make sure that you're developing yourself. Make sure you're developing every day. You're doing something today that's for something. You're not doing it for nothing. You're doing it for something. You're doing it to make sure you grow. You're doing a video. You're not doing it for other people. You're doing it so you can grow. I'm doing this so I can grow. In Jesus' name. I be kind throughout life. I, I be kinder than ever. I be kinder with myself than anybody else. I promise you that's called high morals. I promise you when you're kinder with yourself, you will have higher morals. You need to connect the dots every single day. You need to show up and do videos and really drive home value. And you have to give value. I make sure I export my videos in 360 pixel and the highest quality in that. Because that way, I understand I have uploading time is quickly and it's quicker to upload my videos rather than having to invest 7 gigabytes of information in terms of data so that you can download my content and every time you would download 7 gigabytes of video to watch one hour video it's not worth it I realize that I upload my content and it's 600 megabytes instead of 7 gigabytes I realize some of my videos may be really long in terms of gigabytes although it's because I forgot to downsize the video into a smaller quality where it will be a smaller file size I understand though that you guys can watch my videos now really quickly. I mean, you really go through it and just go through the information. I lost the MP3 players that I do in terms of I extract the audio from this video and I put it into MP3 and you guys can go really quickly through it. I mean, you just need the audio. You just need the audio. You don't need to see my face. Do you understand? I mean, what's important is I give you some content today so that I can improve. Realize when I do that, I have more in my life. I have more wisdom, I have more courage, I have more to give, I have more of a scenario. I speak every day, I speak my heart out, and I speak what's coming along. I practice every day. I practice as much as I can. I realize that 100 days worth of practice is also, through, I mean, that's 300 hours worth of practice. I realize that 1,000 days worth of practice is 3,000 hours. I understand that it's a slow journey. You have to keep practicing and you have to practice in front of people too. You have to practice your communication in front of people because if you plan to be famous, you have to be an inspiration first. I have a massive story. I have a massive story which helps me to do these videos and it helps me to get along with people. I get along with people although I stay away from them as much as I can. I don't need them in my life. I don't need them around me. I understand they're too much middle class people. I mean, they're just poor people. I don't need them around me. I can grow myself. I have mentors now. I understand I'm alone. I'm not lonely though. I'm not lonely. I understand when you seek pleasure, you are actually lonely. Probably when you're looking for pleasure to, and to satisfy yourself with pleasure, you're actually feeling lonely and you have to grow from that. You have to make sure that whatever's going to make you feel pleasure in life, you have to overcome it. How do you overcome it? You overcome it by making sure you delay it as much as you can and go and do something else. I mean, make sure that each and every single time you relapse, you learn from that relapse and you never do it again. I realize that I've been sober and off the drugs in terms of the legal drugs for over six years. I was a meth addict. I was taking meth. I took it 10 times. I was that I was really close. I was getting hooked on it. <clears throat> I'm now successful. I'm more successful than ever. I have better communication techniques. I, I learn better. I learn faster. I look at Jesus Christ every day and I say, what is now? I mean, what do I do now? And what would you do in this position? Unless Jesus would honestly just be doing this and would be making sure that no matter what happens that Jesus gets in front of people. I never have to ask people for opportunities. I never ask 
other people for opportunities. I ask myself for opportunities all the time. I ask myself for opportunities and I give myself opportunities to grow. I have to find those opportunities. And it's really easy. And you just go and grow. I stay away from online connection with other people. I stay away from it. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. Otherwise, they don't care about you. Otherwise, by the time they reply, otherwise, the two months has passed. Otherwise, on Instagram, you may be promoting your photos and brochures of yourself. Otherwise, that people never even check the message. Otherwise, it's a waste of time. I go like 350 people's content on Instagram and I get 30 likes in terms of 30 followers. Otherwise, I'd rather do that than having to post into, I mean, I'd rather do that than having to post into Instagram Messenger 5,000 times and nobody replies. Otherwise, that's the difference. I also understand that now I make sure to focus on wisdom and I've lost nothing. I've lost nothing. I've only gained. I've only gained more followers. I've only gained since the day I started. I went from 70 followers, I went down to zero. I have followed all of them. I kicked them out of my Instagram. I started to just place that I followed Jesus and that Jesus follows me. And I, I thought that was the way. And then I said, I have to grow my Instagram. I have to grow my following. And guess what? I went from zero followers to 357 followers now. Or else really quickly, it happens. I although then get blocked by Mark Zuckerberg. Or else now, I can post somewhere else. I can do something else. I can do anything. I realize although he blocked me for seven days to post on Instagram, my photos. I realize you never do it again. <laughs> I make sure to never like other people's content online anymore. Otherwise, that's already making his Instagram dead. <laughs> realize many people go and advertise on Instagram and believe, I mean, they believe that it's going to help them to increase their attention. I promise you, what increases your attention is get up on the streets and do it. And do it for free all day long. I mean, stop going online to do it. I promise you, you need to be in front of people more and more. And I mean, go in front of their face and be live in their face. And do some public speaking in front of their face. And pop music while you have a portrait staying there and just look at people and hold a sign saying, your Instagram. I promise you, it's much better to do that than having to go online and like people's content. You understand? I'd rather be on the streets standing and watching people and reading along and writing in my journal while I promote myself for free without having to like other people's content online. I promise you that way, more people will see my Instagram. I promise you the more people see my Instagram, I give them all this free knowledge. I give them all this free knowledge. I promise you that they are ungrateful for it. I promise you some people may be grateful. I also understand, I understand that. I do it for free. I understand that most people never care about you and your legacy. You have to care. You have to care. I care about your legacy because I grow you. I although cannot do it for you. I can do anything. I can do anything. I can do anything. Although you must do it for yourself. It's something greater. You must do it for something greater. I will never walk your steps for you. You understand? You have to walk your own path. You have to walk with Jesus alone. I can never do it for you. I can do anything. I can walk my own way in Jesus' path. I really do it for something greater. I understand that every single time I do a video, I'm growing from it, I'm learning from it, I'm making sure that whatever I do today is going to be prosperous. I'm making sure that every day I'm smarter and I'm faster and I'm hungry for success. I make sure that whatever I do today is going to help me move forward. I move forward as quickly as possible. I mean, there's no time to waste. I mean, each and every single day I give $35 for accommodation. I mean, I have to make the most of it every single day. I can always keep giving. I can do anything. I'm always a giver. I'm giving more these days than I'm reading. I do three hours of content every day. I do 
journals of about 30,000 characters every single day and I read less than I give today. I give more in terms of my communication than I would to read something. I realize now I understand that the past crowd doesn't love me. I understand the past crowd doesn't care about me and I promise you it's the same for you. I promise you I do it for something greater. I promise you the past crowd in terms of where you came from, I promise you those people don't care about you. I promise you those people you grew up with don't care about you. I promise you that you may be doing drugs with them and you may believe they care about you. I promise you they're doing drugs too. I promise you as soon as you leave the area, I promise you they never follow you. I promise you are they really your friends? I promise you they're not your friend. I promise you they're only there because you have common interests in terms of doing drugs with them. I promise you as soon as you stop doing drugs, I promise you you never hang around with them anymore. I remember when I left the crowd in terms of this group where they drank alcohol and they were doing drugs and I started, I, I quit, I quit the alcohol and drugs. I started doing something better. I realized that they shunned me and they said, you must never hang around with us. Because you don't do alcohol and you don't drink and you don't smoke. I don't care about you. I'm gonna move I'll go move somewhere else. I made sure to leave the crowd. I made sure to go and prosper and succeed and find more abundance in Australia. I realize now since I have all this memory around Australia, I understand I do better. I do better because I'm always leveling myself. I realize I'm not depressed, I'm doing better than ever. I have faster communication skills. And the faster your communication skills, while you stay sober and vegan at the same time, and while you improve yourself day in and day out and day in and day out, you improve and you improve your communication skills. And I mean the words that you're saying. I realize eventually you're going to give more. And when you're giving more, you'll be more valuable and you'll understand how easy it is to speak. You can speak fluently, you can do it precisely in a better way. I promise you never be correct. I promise you, you never be correct, you just be correct better. Do you understand? You be a better correctness. You go for something better than correctness. You go for better perfection in a way that you're never perfectionist, although you understand that the more you grow, the more perfect you are. You have to understand to just always promote yourself. I promise you, it's not about having 10 social medias. I promise you that one works the best. I promise you, one social media works. I promise you, I have one social media. I promise you, I have that for the rest of my life. I don't need other social media. I don't need other social media. I promise you, what's important is get one following and a massive following on one social media, and that's it. I have an Instagram where I have 600 posts today, and I have 6,000 photos of myself, and that's it. Because that's all you'll find inside my Instagram feed. I also have my quotes and my highlights. I have 2,000 quotes in my highlights. I realize that every single day I do content and now it's really easy to download an application and to start reading. I promise you although that many people never do it. <laughs> I promise you many people never do it because they're scared to read. And they're scared to read from me, especially because they believe I am something of low quality or better. I'm not low quality. I'm not middle class, although they believe that of me. I promise you they believe that I've been middle class. I'm not middle class. I promise you that whatever I am is better than this day. I promise you they go I, get, I promise you they get confused about who to listen to. I promise you they go listen to the people who made a million dollars and who look worse than yesterday. <laughs> I promise you I'm looking better than yesterday and they'll teach you something about that. I promise you that's much better than a million dollars. I realize that if you judge me based on how much money I have, I realize that I have all the money in the world because I'm better than yesterday and my Jesus is my net worth. I mean, what's your net worth in life? I mean, is your net worth $10 billion? I've got Jesus as my net worth. I don't care who you are. You understand? I care to grow you. I care to grow you. I make sure that whatever happens, I make sure to live up to my potential, which is being better than yesterday. I make sure every day I'm doing something much more positive. I'm doing something related for something and I'm not doing it for nothing. I'm doing something to grow myself. I'm doing something to move forward every single day. I'm either writing my journal or doing videos or audios and I'm figuring out a better way while experiencing something new in the area I live. 
Yeah. I cannot be around other people. I realize they waste my time. Because my time is valuable. I realize that time is not money. I realize time is wisdom. <laughs> I realize time is wisdom. I realize that if you give 20 minutes of your time to somebody who's wasting your time, I realize that 20 minutes you can use to grow yourself. I mean, you grow yourself anyway in a conversation with everybody. You just make sure to be alone more throughout the time. You'll be alone more, I promise you, that way you will find a better way. You will find what to say. You will find the freedom in your life. You have to push yourself into it. I've built the habit of doing three hours of content a day in terms of video. I have the habit of doing it because I understand what success is. I understand that in order for me to succeed, I have to do better and better and better and I have to speak and speak and speak. I have to speak better than yesterday and I have to do better than yesterday and I have to be something better. I don't care who blocks me on Instagram. I don't care about them. I care about growing myself now. I care about looking inside and seeing what exactly do I need to do to grow today. Because every day is different. I promise you, every day is different. And let's live today. I mean, every 24 hours you must live. So focus on living the most today. And focus on living fully. And focus on never giving up. I realize that whatever you're doing today, you have to make sure you're doing it better. And in a way that you've never done it before. I have to make sure that each and every single time I do a video, I move on from topic to topic. And I talk about something different that's inside my heart. And I express on it and I make sure to plan it as I go along. And what I'll do, I say it via video and then I live up to it. I realize that Tony Robbins says that the best way to plan these days is doing on a video. I realize that the more you speak on a video, I promise you, the more you plan your life. I plan as I go along. I plan my life each and every single step. I realize I plan my life each and every single step of the way. I don't know what to say. I just see what to say. I see what to say. I have all the money in the world. I'm better than yesterday. I've got the growth skills to grow people. I understand what I can bring to the table. I understand that's what drives me to up my legacy and to increase my skills. I realize I can help people. I'm helping so much. Although people are not, or else other people are not reading. I'm reading so much. I'm doing so much. I'm being better than yesterday. I'm positive. I'm better than the ego. I'm overcoming the ego as much as I can every single day. I'm staying on top of the ego. I make sure that every single day I live up to my standards. I live up to my talk. I live up to my talk. I live up to my talk. I live up to integrity every single day. I cannot be the person who says one thing and does another. I have to say one thing and stick to it the whole time. I cannot be a hypocrite. I can, however, do anything, although I have to be something more like Jesus every day. I have to be a thumbs up. I realized Brisbane and the 52 hours I spoke in front of people, and even though I was in a tunnel, I spoke in front of people, and I increased my communication skills really quickly. I mean, it's a massive difference. I mean, I learned a lot, and now I have to go back into it. I mean, I never go backwards, I go forwards. I have to go and do that again. I, although, I realized that I just moved town. And because I moved town, I have to change my structure now. I realize that every single time you move somewhere, of course, it's going to be different. And life's going to be different. And you have to see a new area too. I realize that the whole journey is go travel and do your passion and make sure you build muscle and be healthier and do veganism and be sober at the same time. I realize it's do everything at the same time. <laughs> I realize that you just have to grow one area of your life. I have to also do music production. I have to do my muscles. I have to do life coaching videos. I have to increase my attention. I have to understand that it's all business. I have to sell myself every single day for free. I realize now I have an opportunity where somebody is going to interview me online. And they're going to do a I realize they're going to do a webinar. I realize they're going to do a webinar with me. I realize they're going to interview me in my life and how I do what I do. And we're going to talk about mental health issues, apparently, because that's what they need. I realize that I'm a life coach, so they're looking to see what type of information can I give to help solve mental health issues. I promise you, I've done it many times already. I realize it's my passion, although I understand that I have to go and do more public speaking on the street. I realize that I love it. I love the thrill of being in front of people. Unless it's different now in Darwin, 
than Brisbane. I realised that Brisbane and Sydney and Perth and Hobart is all different places. I promise you, you have to adapt and you have to do something different. I promise you, now, if I ever go to Hobart, I promise you that I have to adapt and do something that I've never done in Hobart. I realised that I would have to be in Hobart more indoors than outdoors because I've seen Hobart. I've seen how it is. I realise that I go to the places now that have the most opportunity and those are the places that I've never been to. I realise that I've never been to Launchester in Tasmania, I've never been to Davenport in Tasmania. I understand it's cold, I understand that there is a low population, although I've never seen it. Russia, that's a great opportunity. Because when you see it, you'll never go there again. Do you understand? You go devote your time here and there to new places and you go and try something new. I remember when I was around 25 years of age and I went down the coastline of Sydney about 300 kilometers down towards Melbourne. I realized that in between there I found this nice beautiful spot where I stayed and it's like a country town and there is a lake and there is a river and I understand there is no crocodiles because in Sydney and Melbourne area and Hobart area there is no crocodiles because it's too, I realized down the coastline of Australia is more cold and the water is more cold while up the coastline of Australia where Queensland is and to the top where Cairns is and Townsville and also Darwin and that hemisphere where from Darwin to Townsville is you understand there are crocodiles and in those rivers you understand why because the climate is hot or else the climate is really hot I mean every single day it's so hot over there Unless the crocodiles may go from Darwin to Nepal. I mean, from Darwin to the Papua New Guinea. Unless Papua New Guinea is just above Darwin. Unless it's just one hour by plane. Unless that crocodiles are found to swim to Papua New Guinea from Darwin. And then going to Malaysia. <laughs> Unless although you have to understand that you need to be a divine being today who's educating everything. And just learn on the go. I mean, learn something and be quick about it. I mean, you have to adapt quickly. I have mentors now posting content online more than ever. I mean, they're really into it and they're motivating me all day. I also look at Jesus the most and understand that I have to focus on myself with Jesus the most and that's it. I realize that when I have time to see them, I may see a video here and there about economics, mostly in politics these days. I go and check out what's happening. I have to because I have to be informed about that. I realize that Jesus says you have to be informed. You have to look at what's happening around the world. And I go towards mentors to see that. I just found a nice beautiful mentor who is Gerald Salente and he's a politic and he teaches me what's going on in the newspapers around the world. And he's teaching his theories and what he believes to do. I realize although that he updates me and I never have to watch the news. I realize he says, I realize he says, for you to stay away from CNBC and all these news channels. I stay away from them. I don't watch news channels because they corrupt you and they make you a nobody and they say you're a piece of shit and that you must stay down. Otherwise I never stay down so what I do is I stay away from the TV as much as I can and I do that because Brian Tracy said I must do it. And then I just went along with somebody who's richer than me in terms of that aspect of life. Otherwise that back then he was richer than me. And today, I'm richer than him. I'm richer than him in all aspects because I'm better than yesterday and I have more wisdom over the long run. I realized that now, I switched the tables, although I listened to Brian Tracy and I said, no radio and no TV. I said, no pornography, no masturbation and I keep going that way. I always will say that. I realized that if I may fail in porn and masturbation, I understand to say, again, you must not watch porn and masturbation and it's not good for you because it wastes your time. Your time is freedom and make sure that you go and never be a slave to pleasure. I promise you that the more dopamine you pronounce in your brain and you release dopamine in your brain, I promise you that the more you release dopamine in your brain, the more lazier you become. You become a couch potato and you become somebody who's fat. I was there. I was eating ice cream before bed. I was eating half a tub of ice cream before bed. Or else I woke up with a stomach ache. 
And as these days, I sleep like a baby. And as I'm not worried about my life because I got content and every single day I do it, I reassure myself, I will succeed. I will succeed. I will succeed. I'm successful. I'm successful. I just done the video. I'm successful. I have more to go. I push myself into it. I grow intentionally. I grow into it. I grow into being better than yesterday. Every single day. I push myself to grow. I brush it. That's how you move upward. I brush it. Every day you have to relate new words with new words. And you have to relate new vocabulary words with new vocabulary words. You have to speak in a different way all the time. And you have to orchestrate a better life and compose a better life in the process. I promise you that it's not just about being a I realize it's not just about being a music producer. I realize it's also about being a vegan. And it's also becoming better in life. And it's also becoming better in your finances. And it's also becoming better in disciplines. I realize you still need that. I promise you it's also called personal development. And it's not just called music production. Do you understand? You have to be balanced in all areas. I realize now I have the best time because I finally have a techno track and I finally can do music on the go. I can finally do it. I mean, after four and a half years of time, I can do music production now. I mean, now I can do the best ever. I mean, now I can really make music. I mean, I can make a quality sound. I can make my music change in every aspect of its vital energy. I can donate 350 bucks to get some vocals because I understand how to use it. I understand how to make tracks. I can see how to make it. I can see how to do life. I see in Darwin I have many business opportunities where I can go and do these further branding shoots. Although I understand I have a massive opportunity here also where I can stay indoors and I can just relax. And I understand it's really hot, although I'm a fan. I've got something to do all day and I keep to what I love to do. I keep doing what I love to do because that's what satisfies me. I mean, what satisfies me is growth. I have to be growing and I just stick to what I love to do. I don't work for money because when you work for money, you will start doing something you hate to do. I mean, what you hate to do is to work for money because money doesn't solve anything and money never fulfills you. I mean, money can get you an experience I promise you, although, that money can never grow you. I promise you, money can never grow you. Do you understand? I promise you, what grows you is you. And you have to build the skills. And that's what I'm doing here as a life coach. I'm giving you skills. And I'm making you go towards Jesus. And also, you have to understand that I'm your compass. Where I show you a better way. Because I'm following Jesus. And then you are following that road with me. Do you understand? Because pleasure as... Jesus says, it's going to ruin you. It's going to, I promise you, it's going to kill you. And what you do is delay gratification as much as you can, and you'll save money that way. I promise you, delay gratification means be sober. And stay away from the drugs, kids. I promise you that taxes, for example, and economics is going to really, let's say, you have to understand it. You have to understand what taxes is. And each and every single time you get petrol or a car or you get something in terms of you get money for it, you have to understand, you're giving tax for money. You have to understand, to go and relax and just realize that when you're working on five, you may get taxed 20% of what you work for. And then when you go and give money towards something, you may be taxed 10%. And how is that really impacting your life? I realize it impacts your life over the next years of your life. I realize that it can, up, I realize it can impact you for up to 20 years of your life where you're just giving your time for taxes. Do you understand? Because they make you work for money and then they tax your money. Do you understand? While they're printing money alongside to make you work like a slave. And they're taking your time away and your freedom away. And you're, I realize that over time, you understand that you never be a slave. You must never be a slave, although they're making more people slaves these days. I realize that now, I'm coming from a different angle. I realize that I am making them work for me, although I understand that they're not working for me. I'm not making them work for me. I'm making the system of their system work for me now. 
I'm making their government laws work for me. And how is that? I'm just grabbing their money and I'm making a run for it in a way that I'm just traveling or that I'm not scamming them. Do you understand? Because what they consider a scam is you grabbing their money and never working the nine to five. And that's what they call illegal. I'm not negative, although guess what? I'm not an illegal person. I'm not a person, I'm an individual who is a divine being. And guess what? I consider I consider this a illegal statement and scam where they are printing money and making you work for it. Otherwise that's illegal and they will say no. Otherwise they'll say no that you must work for the money. Or else, why are you printing it for in the first place? I mean, why are you printing money and making people work for it? I mean, that's what illegal matters is. And the coppers are in with them. I mean, they're not on your side. I mean, the coppers and the police are working for that printed money. I mean, they're slaves to the system. And they're kicking you down. <laughs> or else, you never kick me down. Or else, am I lucky? Otherwise, I'm lucky to live. Although, you have to understand, we're all lucky to live life. Otherwise, you're lucky to have your parents. You're lucky to be where you are today. You're lucky to have this life. You're lucky to have what you have. You're lucky, just as much as I'm lucky. I mean, what's your problem? I mean, there's no problem here. I mean, just because I grab the government's money and run for it. Otherwise, that you can do the same. Otherwise, you never have to blame me for that. And you never have to look at me as a problem because of that. Because guess what? I'm smarter than the rest of the crowd. I never work for the money. I use other people's money and that's it. I run for it. I run for it. I run in a better direction. I don't care about the 9 to 5. Because when you work on 9 to 5, I promise you what happens is you stay in one area and they make you a slave. I'm not a slave. I'm smarter than them. I'm smarter than them. I realize that when they try to make me work on a five job, I say I have to go to this place now. I realize I'll look for a job over here, I say. I realize I have a job already. I'm not a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm just looking out for myself in a better way. I'm just moving around Australia. I realize although that social security will fall apart very soon. I realize that in 2028 they said that social security is bankrupt and that from that point on, that most people and everybody will have to work for their money. I realize that the economic system, because of that, is going down. And that means that if you are sick and ill, I realize that if you're sick and in hell and unhealthy, I realize that's up to you now. You have to go give your own money that you work for to give in terms of your health so that you have more health. Because you have to go give your own money for your own health. Otherwise, they're going to make you work for it. Because if you're somebody who's a beast, that's your problem. Otherwise, that's your problem. Otherwise, that's what they're going to say. And otherwise, they're going to say, why would we help you? Do you understand? Otherwise, that they make you feel entitled. Otherwise, that they say, if you are on the allowance of the government, that you are entitled and that you're not doing anything. Otherwise, that they're the ones well, not doing anything because they're working on nine to five. Do you understand? I realize that I'm smarter than them because I get to run away from the nine to five. I mean, how does that work? I mean, how am I a life coach and teaching people to increase their finances and to be better than yesterday and to do what I do in terms of passion and have love for themselves and do better in life with all these business skills that I have and all this sales coaching I mean, how am I going to teach them to become billionaires? I see like. I like, I realize like means you have to love, although you have to understand that you have to understand I'm better than yesterday. I'm better than yesterday. And now I help people with time and energy and savings in terms of money and disciplines and I show them the better way in how they can organize their life in terms of life coaching and how to teach people and how to do life and how to do it for free and what to do in terms of time calculations and financial input and also financial calculator and also with mindset and communication and how to really 
broaden your aspect of activity in a way that you're personally developing yourself in your spirituality and your emotional health and how to travel around the world with life skills and how to get away from the mental health people and how to make your life much more confident. I do all that. Unless that I don't have to be a billionaire to do that. You have to understand I'm better than yesterday and that's a billionaire. I'm better I'm, I'm better than a billionaire. I'm better than yesterday, so I'm teaching you that. Otherwise, that's all that my business is. Otherwise, all I teach you is how to be better than yesterday, and that's how you move forward. I mean, that's how you move upward. Otherwise, that no matter who blocks me in life, you'll never block my growth. I mean, you can never take my soul as above and beyond says. Do you understand? So, realize that what you're doing today, you must outsmart the government. You must get the money and just go travel. I mean, go and start traveling from city to city and say that you're looking for a job here and you're looking for a job here and you have to go see and say you're traveling and see what they say. I promise you they'll allow you to travel because it's your country. I mean, are they going to put me in jail when I was two years of age and I was getting money from the government? Are they going to put me in jail because I was grabbing money from the government back then and I was never working as a slave? I was, I was on the allowance even back then. You understand? I mean, when I was five and six and seven and eight and nine, I was still receiving the government's money. I mean, the printed money. You understand? I mean, do I have shame for that? I have no shame. You understand? I mean, what's the difference when you're 50? And what's the difference when you're 60? You still grab the money. You grab the money. You go, you go travel. And, saying, and what? You're gonna blame me for how I am today? I promise you I'm better than this day. How about you? I'm better than this day. I'm doing something for nothing. I'm doing all this content. I'm giving you free content. I'm a vegan, are you vegan? Are you vegan? Because if you're not vegan, you cannot speak up for me. I mean, if you're vegan, then make sure you understand I'm better than this day. You understand? I'm always doing something related to a greater way. I make sure that I'm not arguing with people. I'm not arguing because if you don't like me for how I live my life, then guess what? I promise you, you don't have to watch me, you go somewhere else. I promise you, somebody else is going to charge you for this work that I do. You believe that I've been wronged and that I'm wrong? I'm not wrong or right. I'm not wrong or right. I understand if you believe I've been wrong or right about what I say, and if you believe I've been a bad person, I'm not a bad person. I realize that, I realize, I just have to keep moving forward. And the way I do that is I communicate more and more and more. The better I can, I the better I can do it. I realize the better I can communicate, I realize the better I do. I realize that's the whole point. I realize the point is moving upward in a way that you learn how to move upward even more. You have to learn and relearn everything. You have to question everything I said. You have to question what your mum and dad and cousins and brothers and sisters and the crowd around you is saying. You have to question everything. You have to question Jesus. You have to question everything. You'll find out. You'll do trial and error and you'll find out for yourself in something greater. You're not doing it for yourself. You're doing it for something greater. I realize, I realize all that. I realize every single day I do some content today. I do some nice beautiful video, I realize that I go and dedicate myself. I've got nothing else to do. I just go and talk because my growth is important and it's a state of discomfort to be sitting here for one hour and just speaking. I realize it's my growth. I realize each and every single time I grow, I'm more powerful to do these videos. I'm more stronger to be able to give you. And that's the whole point of moving upward. I'll see you guys in the next video.